Price is universal, 144. Date doesn't matter. Uh, this is just gonna be collecting what you need to know going into the new year. A lot of people, they set their new year at their birthday, okay? Because technically that year does not start for them until they change a number. <laughs> And if you guys know what I used to do when I first started the channel, it was always number pools, right? Um, this is the same thing. It's just, uh, instead of dealing with direct numbers, right? And explaining you how I get the number, I do it a different way because a lot of that stuff was um, hijacked. So that's why I stopped doing the number pools. Because <clears throat> I was explaining number harmonics to people and they were using them in it very negative way. I'm not using tarot right now, I'm just using Oracle. Okay, so, so basically, um, to you, you as an individual, whatever is a service to you, like you feeling as though you're giving a service or maybe um, is in service towards you and your goal, your thought form, this year is going to assist you through any adversity, this and that, um, to get there. I don't know why you haven't got there in 2022. It's none of my freaking business because there's a lot of stuff I wanted to do in 2022 and the year before and the year before that I did not accomplish. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that I was a failure for those things, those goals. It was just that it was not time, okay? So this this really could just be that, right? Um, that message, What whatever whatever dream you were trying to sustain, and it's not like you can sustain anything. The only thing you can sustain is the basics, right? If we're going to talk about sustaining, <laughs> like, and even then there are things that come up and, um, kind of like imbalance it. It's like the yin and the yang of what you're trying to, um, keep, you know, and, and that's why I don't believe in um, holding on to people, any of the nouns, person, place, or thing. Okay? Yeah. A lot of you that know me, um, uh, and it's, it's not just because of my zodiac sign. Everybody has it in them. When you, when you feel as though this is it for me, this is all, okay? The universe has a creepy way of coming up and saying, well, what about this? Right? And it, it either does one or two things to the person. Um, it's like the flight or flight, um, issue, <laughs> when in reality, there's really none of those going on to the sovereign person who's been there, done that, got the t-shirt, right? They're just like, oh, here's another option. And so it, it's not to, um, tear things apart, so to speak, like a tower moment in your life. It's just to, to show you like, Hey, um, I know that you, uh, were condensed mindset. Okay but we just put a bunch of stuff in the pot, right? Different flavors in the pot. Now it's even better. So now it's not so condensed. It doesn't mean that it's watered down. It just means that there's like more out there for you. And once you taste that cup of soup or whatever, you know, that cup of tea, you're like, oh, I was limiting my belief system. Mm -hmm. And so 2023 will show you this. Like, um, so when you sustain a dream, which is really just a uh, thought form, right? That you are, the difference between dream and thought form on the third rock from the sun is different everywhere. Um, but here is when you make ample um, steps towards the dream and you just start researching. That's step one, okay? Then the universe shifts. The energetics shift. I've been trying to teach this a lot, but there's no way to teach it. You have to experience it yourself, okay? For it to work for you on your own timeline. 
Um, the universe will shift things into balance and harmony for that thought form that you have acted on just by researching it to start to manifest. For example, you will go to the grocery store or maybe you'll go to work or and, and meet somebody and whatever it was that you had researched, they might be a guru at it. Maybe they won't be, but they're in the middle of it, okay? Of perfecting it, whatever it is, person, place, or thing, okay? Whether this is a move, <clears throat> place. I don't know why I got to freaking teach you guys your nouns, but um, just any of those things, you know, um, when, when you're a child and you lose your childlike mind, you, the, your manifest reset is, is harder. Like when you lose your childlike mind and, and it's so funny because we're all taught like almost like beat with a stick mentally to get those dreams out of your mind. That's never gonna happen. You're gonna focus on now. You have a spelling test. You have, you have, you know, this math test when you're this little shit, you know, this little kid. And uh, so, but but when you're going out and playing, you're thinking about, oh, I wanna do this. I wonder what it's like, what it's like to experience that. That's this whole third rock from the sun is just experiencing. That's it. Now, there's no wrong and right in experiencing. There is a yin and the, the yang. We would not have the sun and the freaking moon here if it wasn't okay to use both, okay? That's why I, I don't, um, I'm getting off on a freaking rant here. <laughs> but this is why I do not believe in any spiritualist that says that they're like mastered because nobody is. If you're here, you're not mastered, okay? You're here to become mastered in certain areas okay like there is no such thing as a guru you know that's gonna sit there and like magically solve your fucking problems the only thing the guru is gonna do is make you think okay because apparently your setting your setting of a uh, thought form is out of whack and so it makes you think something else it distracts the program that you're deleting okay and then it creates a new program of thought form. But if you get addicted to watching some guru or somebody who seems intelligent to you, but to somebody else, they can seem totally incompetent because that person is above, above that thought form of that person you're listening to. Rabbit holes like motherfucker right now. Okay, so back at the ranch here. <laughs> I knew this would happen today because today is an 11 day okay and i'm born on the 11th so um but this is december so here we go here so getting back to your bearings okay it's just a reset is all that's required before the year and when i say some people make their reset on the day of their birthday in that year that's pretty wise for a lot of people but for some people, they just do it when the year switches. It just depends on where you're at. But what I'm seeing is sustaining of a dream and you don't sustain anything. The only thing that you can really sustain, okay, is thought form and which vibration it's gonna be at from here to here. Then you wanna involve other things that come along with that thought form, which are outside influences if you have outside influences to a thought form it is no longer pure okay this is why they always say people who have actually been there done it got the t-shirt and are successful in a thought form okay a manifestation board this and that they say tell no one until it's done they are very right on that okay highly highly right on that and um, if, if it's some sort of service, okay, that you're providing to the collective, this would be 144 consciousness souls, okay? Um, it's especially important to gather information. And you gather it through, not through what was successful for somebody else, but what was non-successful 
through everyone who tried, attempted, and missed approached, okay? And didn't land it. Too much energy going through me. So there's that for um, 2023 for the collective. That's all I have. And I hope you guys have a really good 2023. I may come back and do Zodiac signs individually like I did last year. I did get really good feedback on that when um, people said, yep, it happened. Well, yeah, you know, but the thing you guys need to know about readings and the thing that you guys need to know about people who have clairs on who are like warning or whatever, this and that and saying possibilities is you are your own individual. Okay. Now, if you listen to something enough, and you fixate on it, it becomes reality, okay? So anything that I or anyone else says, take with a grain of salt if you dislike it and it's against your creed code, okay? Just be aware and that's it. Because once you're aware of that, it stops becoming a problem. It ceases to exist because the awareness of it stops it, okay? It's like pouring gas on a weed, okay? It's not gonna grow, right? It's metaphoric, I wouldn't suggest, you know, harming the earth, but there's that. All right, that's all I have, thank you.